just because uh, I'm running a, a YouTube channel on uh, DevOps and cloud space doesn't mean uh, that you know I need to give any sort of uh, misleading information. So uh, in this video, I will be talking about the future of DevOps uh, and probably cloud as well. So uh, what from my knowledge, what I have understood, what I have seen, uh, a lot of these hype will be there in the uh, industry uh, for some few years. And the hype is real for now. Uh, DevOps and cloud is very hot. Is has has been uh, hot from last uh, four or five years, uh, and it's probably going to be uh, like that for a few more years. But eventually, every technology has uh, its uh, downfall, or uh, how it will eventually shape up in future is that uh, there will not be individual roles like a, a Java developer or a .NET developer and. Uh, People will be um, full stack developers. People will be uh, cross platforms, cross technologies, and DevOps will be one such area where uh, it will be expected from a Java.NET developer or any sort of um, full stack developer to know DevOps and cloud uh, practices as well. So uh, the kind of salary edge that now DevOps and cloud engineers can fetch will not be same after five years maybe so there will be some new technologies new um, things will come in the industry ai ml is what people are talking about data science um, these these are going to be the uh, probably the next um, generation next um, if somebody is looking to build their career now start something they are in college they are they are not in a rush to get into a job right away they can look at uh, data science ai ml kind of practices rather than a devops and cloud practices uh, these these things will mature everybody would know about them uh, so the kind of salary edge the kind of uh, uh, you know you clear some uh, you know you build knowledge on terraform ansible and some uh, automation tools and you get a nice job is probably going to uh, you know that edge will go away in a few years right now that edge is still there you can uh, easily get into um, uh, industry by learning these uh, few of these tools and following some good practices building uh, medium to complex projects so uh, that sort of thing so uh, but it's, it's not going to be the same so if you get into industry now spend four or five years in industry it is expected that you will be able to ride the next wave uh, whatever that wave is that's where you have to be uh, on um, uh, social media in your friend circle your seniors and you and you will get to know what that next wave is and you you just have to be ready for that keep learning um, that sort of process will will be uh, ongoing in your uh, technology career